Okay, so acetals and, ke um, and ketals are ways to protect aldehydes and ketones from reaction. That's one type of protecting group. There's another type of protecting group that I want to talk about, which is also an acetal, but it sounds completely different because its name is different. It's called a THP ether. It is actually an acetal. So let's see how this works. Let's say we have an alcohol. And I want to do chemistry over here on this R group. And I haven't defined what it is, but I want to do some, some chemistry over there. But I'm worried about the alcohol getting involved. I don't want the alcohol to get deprotonated or get participate in the chemistry. So I can react this using some of our acetal chemistry. Now I'll leave the mechanism for this uh, reaction for either a homework set or a group exercise. But when we react, this weird alkene, it's, it's, it's called an enol ether, when we react this with our alcohol, what we form is something that looks like this. So we actually do an addition onto that alkene. Now, people don't want to describe this as we made this. We want to give this a name. So this is called a THP group. I want to get fancy about it. It's called a tetrahydropyranyl group. But people just call it a THP group. In fact, people just call this a THP ether. And, and they wouldn't draw out this whole structure. But what they draw is just OTHP to make it a little bit more compact. Now, now what is this THP? Let, let's go back and look at an aldehyde. And we know that aldehydes can form acetals. And what do we see in our acetal? Well, let's label this acetal to be clear. It's an acetal. This central carbon of the acetal, it has an R group and an H. Okay, let's go up here. Look at our central carbon of the THP. We have an H coming off this central carbon. We have this alkyl chain coming off, and that's basically an R group coming off. And then as we go back to the bottom left, this acetal, this central carbon, also has two O alkyl groups coming off of it. And we come up here to our THP ether. Here's an O alkyl group coming off. And here's an O-alkyl group going around the ring. And so this is actually an acetal. Doesn't look like one. We didn't call it one. We call it a THP ether. But this is an acetal. So what's, what do I, what's that mean? It's an acetal. Well, that means it's uh, we, we've lost our alcohol. So we have no acidic OH. It's not an electrophile. So that means we have a fair, we've converted our alcohol into a fairly inert functional group. So now we're free to do all our chemistry on our R group. So let's label that. Let's say, you know, do chemistry on R. And we're going to get a new R group over here. And our OTHP ether is just going to stand aside and watch while the R group reacts. It won't get involved. And now that we're done doing that chemistry, now we need, we, we need to be able to get rid of our THP group. It's a protecting group. It's going to be temporary. And to do that, because it's an acetal, all we have to do is treat this with a little bit of acid and water. And our THP group is gone, and we get our alcohol back. So this is a protecting group sequence. First step, we protect. We made the THP ether. So that's step one. Step two, we do our chemistry. And then step three, we have to deprotect. So there are lots and lots and lots of tricks like this, but these are just a couple classic examples. One is just making converting a carbonyl to an acetal to protect it as from being an electrophile. Another is to protect alcohols from being their acidic protons and capping them with something like a THP ether. Really common techniques in synthetic organic chemistry.